getting a black marker again or a black pen, whatever you got. We're gonna do a double A battery. That's just a, it's a tube like a straw. You put them in your Xbox controllers and some lights and remote controls, things like that. We all know those, right? They look like this. I'm gonna draw fast and then I'm gonna teach you how to draw it. They look like this. And they've got little nibs on the end that the electricity goes through. Remember those? All right, I'm gonna slow down. We're gonna try it again, okay? First thing I want you to do is draw a sideways number 11, like this. Da 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 da. Bop 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 boom, like that. Look at that. I'm gonna erase, well, I'll keep that one up there. Let me cut it up and move it for you. Just so you see where we're going with this. Did you get the sideways number 11? Lines like that that don't touch? You got it? Okay, good. On the back, we're going to draw the letter C backwards. Like this. You stay with the black marker. I'm going to show you red so you can see it. Backwards C like this. Kind of like a banana. Yours is black. Mine's red. That's okay. I'm just showing it so you can see it. In fact, I'll come back over in black just so it looks good. Kind of a banana shape. All right. At the front, we're gonna do the same thing, except that these lines, we're gonna draw a bit of a banana shape. Maybe I should be doing it yellow, but considered a red banana. Look at that. Okay, we're drawing a battery. These are the things that go in your remote controls and all sorts of stuff. If you wanted to stop there, what, what else do we have there? It's hard to say. Maybe it could be turned into a flashlight. Maybe from here, you could go to a piece of paper that's curling in the wind. Maybe it's a, a snow sled, the front of it, but we're going with the battery. I'm just letting you see that we can turn these lines into almost anything we want to. All right, let's finish it off with another C, and it's going to make an oval, like a circle. A backward C, the opposite way that that one's going. Another banana shape over there. Look at that. So the two bananas came together to make a little oval circle looking thing. Now mine's red just so you can see it, but I'm going to go back to black fix that because I think yours is going to be all the same color, right? Look at that. Very nice. Okay. Now, the terminals on the batteries, they one part of them sticks out and the other one is kind of flat, so we're going to draw the stuck out part. It's just going to be a little bump like that. And we're not even connected. It's a circle with an open end. All right? Circle with an open end. You're just joining us. We're drawing a battery. And then, that's basically it. Now you can just give it a label. I'm gonna put an interstate batteries label. I'm not gonna write interstate again. I've written it about four times now. My hand's starting to hurt, okay? But we love interstate, so we're just gonna, I'm gonna draw a little lightning bolt. It's like a Z. That's how you know it's a battery. Now I'm gonna add some color. Now this part of it, up here, is always gonna say silver and gray. All right, so I'm gonna keep that kind of a silvery gray. That's kind of your metal, metallic part. But this part's a label. And of course, our favorite batteries, Joe Gibbs Racing, are the green interstate batteries. So that's what I'm gonna draw. All right, you ready for this? I don't know if I'm ready for this, but here we go. I'm gonna make my lines keep going straight, like with these lines up here. See, look at that. Just lines that keep going straight. And I'm going to do them kind of light. And then I'm going to add some more on top at the bottoms. I say at top on the bottoms, but at the very top next to these lines to make it look like it's curved. And then I'm going to get a little bit of a darker green. And I'm just going to draw lines at the bottom and at the top to make it look like it's curved. See that? Lines going that way. No scribbles, just lines to make a curve. And then I'm going to get an even darker green, and I'm just lightly putting some dark green at the bottom and at the top. All of a sudden, those straight lines look like a curved battery, don't they? Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. If you want to get crazy in here, you can start erasing into it a little bit. You can you kind of outline this, this lightning bolt. Give it some lightning feels to it. Look at that. 
Just a little bit of marketing, just a little bit of labeling so you can tell what kind of battery it is. When you see it's green, you know it's one that's going to last for a long time, right? And there you go. I could almost, I feel like I could almost just grab that battery and put it into a remote controller and, and start playing some games, don't you? We made it look so real. One more to go, okay? The batteries in our cars are a little different. They're not that shape at all. The batteries in our cars from Interstate, these are in the race cars too, like the car we just drew, if you're just joining us and you missed it, we drew Kyle Busch's number 18 car. See that? Are you just joining us? I'm pulling up a picture of a car battery, the one that goes in your car. It's big and it's really heavy. It's like this big and it's heavy. I'm going to show you what it looks like while you're catching up. There it is. Holy moly. Let's see if I can give you a good view of it here. It's kind of hard to see. But there's a bunch of them. See them? They're like big blocks. It's an interstate battery. See how they're shaped like a rectangle? That's what we're going to draw right now. We're going to draw it at this angle. So pay attention. We're almost ready. It's a big block and you connect the, the uh, Electricity either, either side. All right, here we go. Last drawing of the day. We're about to have some fun here. This is one of the easier ones. We're drawing a car battery. Get your black marker out or your pen or your pencil or whatever you want to use because we're drawing a battery. Okay? And just like a race car, we got to start with a box. We got to know how to keep it inside the box. So draw me a box about like this. Look at that, my lines aren't straight, that's okay. It's okay. Made a mistake, just kind of go back over it and get it the way you like it. It does not matter. Got your box? All right, I'm gonna let you finish that, I'm watching. After that, we need two lines going like this at the top of the box, okay? Go in like this. Go in like that, and then connect them at the top. All right. Does that make sense? Looking good? So on our top of our battery, if you looked at those pictures, you saw it was green, right? Let's just make sure you're, I'm not going too fast for you. Remember we started, we started with this box. Did you draw that one? Next you drew these lines angled, and then you connected them. Looking good? All right. Here we go, green top. We're almost done here. Got to add that green in. We're going to just draw the top box in green. We're going to color it in. Color it real good. Just, you know, scribble it in, whatever you need to do. Color it in green. I know it's going to take some time, but you just do your best. I have a thick marker. It makes it so easy for me. If you're drawing with crayons or colored pencils or something, I know it takes more time, and that's okay. It's not a race. We're taking a break from the racing right now. We're just enjoying the drawing. So there at the race shop, there are people that design logos and labels. There are people that install the batteries in the race cars. There are people that, that hook them up, make sure all the parts connected to the battery are working, like the gauges and the ignition, which is what starts the car, the fans that cool the car and the driver. All sorts of things deal with batteries and electricity, and there's, there's a bunch of people at Joe Gibbs Racing that work on that. I'm thinking about my buddy Paul. He's in the electrical shop. At the, race, at the race shop at JGR. He has a son named Zach, who's very talented and creative at, at the drawing side, and his dad's very talented and creative at the, uh, at the battery side, the electricity side. Pretty cool, huh? All right, you got the top of the battery done. Is it filled in with green? I tell you what, there's not much else to it, except I want to get black again. And we're gonna draw a post. One wire connects to the negative post and one wire connects to the positive post and it shoots the electricity into the car. 
So you gotta have the post. The post is gonna be just a black line up here like this. Look at that. The other one's gonna be a red line. Like that. Those are the posts. All the juice, the power, and that interstate battery, well, the wires connect to those posts on the car, boom, shoots power into that whole car, makes it go, makes it start up, gets that engine fired. There you go. So just to have some fun, I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow and just to illustrate that there's electricity flowing, I'm gonna do a little lightning bolt up here and a little lightning bolt up there. There you go, very nice. Then I'm gonna grab my green again I'm going to scribble in a name here. We know it says interstate, but for me, I'm just scribbling because everybody knows the green batteries are interstate. I don't have to write it again. Look at that. Perfect. Last thing, okay? Last thing, I want to put a shadow in there. That makes it look like this battery is sitting in a car or sitting on the ground getting ready to go into a car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little kick out over here and a little kick out over there. See that? A little kick out, a little black kick out. And then we're going to connect, bada bing, bada boom, connect that one, fill it in. And now, folks, ladies and gentlemen, kids of all ages, we have a car battery, interstate car battery that we just drew, getting ready to go into Kyle Busch's race car that we drew before. All right. Well, that's it for me. I'm going to start cleaning up, getting ready for the weekend. we got a lot going on this weekend. If you and your parents want to watch on Sunday, we're going to be racing in the virtual world. All of our real drivers are out there racing this weekend on their computers. Have you seen that? So tune in on Sunday at one o'clock Eastern time. They're racing at the virtual Texas Motor Speedway on Fox and FS1, okay? I'm gonna be watching, all right? Look for that interstate car out there that Kyle Busch is gonna drive. He's been practicing a lot, as have all these gentlemen. Final scan of comments is going on right now just to see how y'all are doing. I hope y'all have a good weekend. Thank you for this week of drawing with me. We'll be back on Monday, same time, noon Eastern time. And I hope you're going to fill my comments with drawings that you did, other drawings you did over the weekend. Draw your own race car. You surprise me with a, with a unique race car that you drew. And uh, draw some comments or enter some comments in there about what you want me to draw and teach you how to draw next week. All right? Stay healthy out there, and uh, I'll see you next week.